r slash ask reddit redditors with roommates what are some of the weirdest things a roommate of yours has done college roommate we are taking a road trip to upstate new york approximately four hour drive and i notice that he has a cdr titled conversations with john on it so i ask john what that is he's hesitant but tells me it's a cd he listens to on long road trips i pop it in and the first track starts it's john himself Howdy cowboy, how's the road ahead? I turned it right off, and we never spoke of it ever since. In college my roommate pretended he had a girlfriend who lived in England, we are in the US. Used to talk to her on the phone and everything, while we would both be in the dorm. My roommate was FB friends with her of course and a few of her friends who he had met while visiting her. He used to talk about how much he missed her, especially having sex with her etc. Found out after I moved out she never existed. Fake profile. Fake name. Fake pics. He was talking to no one, except himself, on the phone. I have no idea why he'd go to such lengths for this lie, but I felt really weird about the whole thing once I found out. Not my current roommates, but I had a roommate in college that used to play Bittersweet Symphony on repeat all day, every day. From the minute I moved in to even after I moved out, I moved down the hall to another kid's room because this is just one of the super weird things he used to do and I still used to hear it constantly playing whenever I'd walk by. I really used to like that song too, but it's ruined for me now. Thought they could clean the shower by leaving it running super hot with the door closed. All day. Maintenance had to come pry the door off its frame just to get it open. The wood had swelled up so much from all the moisture. Edit. I'm getting comments asking why my shower door was wooden. I should have clarified that I meant the door to the bathroom. The shower door was glass. But since this got so popular, I figured I might as well tell a bit more of the story. My roommate had left the shower on and gone merrily off to work, but that was my day off. I didn't know anything was amiss until I realized I had been hearing the shower running for several hours. I knocked, but of course, there was no answer. I panicked and tried to open the door. As far as I knew at that point, it was locked. It sure wouldn't open, in any case, and I didn't know it was swollen shut. So, naturally, I thought one of my roommates had locked themselves in there and, I dunno, died or something. I went completely hysterical, I called the housing office, they break down the door, and after that I was just confused until the roommate in question got home to explain. At that point, though, I was mostly just glad I hadn't found a body, but then we got the bill for the door they had to replace, and the roommate in question tried to weasel their way out of paying for it. They fully intended to make all four of us split the cost, and there was no way that was happening. They did eventually pay up. Thank goodness. The end. My roommate in freshman year of college was this really tall, total bro of a hockey player. When he went to bed one night, I was surprised to see from across the room he took an old stuffed bunny toy in pajamas from under his pillow and kissed it goodnight before hugging it close to him. I soon observed that this was part of his bedtime routine, but I never mentioned it. Had a roommate that was easily distracted by things. Anything. He could have a thought about why stars are certain colors and then go on a mission to find out why. Or maybe it would be a curiosity of the air pressure in his tires. The problem was that when this happened he would just wander off from whatever task or activity he was doing at the time. So many burnt dinners and messes left throughout the house. Never uses a full roll of toilet paper. There is always at least a one quarter of the roll left when it gets tossed. I can't figure out the reason. So I'm 32 years old. Husband and I rent out two rooms, one of which to a guy we have nicknamed the ghost. He pays a set fee, doesn't eat any food, does his laundry at 3am, other side of the house, sound insulated laundry room, so we can't hear anything. He doesn't drive, Ubers to work, so thus doesn't have a car, never asks us for a thing, just comes and goes as he pleases, pays his rent on time, and is quiet occasionally you hear him as he is playing an online game and talking to some people. He has never had a person over, though occasionally leaves for a week to go to a convention. He has no family, no relationships, etc. He has been in the same call center job for the past 6 years. I occasionally check his room for dead bodies and general hygiene, 
no food trans piling up, and molding kinda stuff. He is just your quiet nerdy guy who is Argo so we invite him out to dinner sometimes, he doesn't say much. Old roommate used to get home after a day of work, sit down on the couch, and stare at the wall slash blank TV screen for sometimes a solid hour, also used to bake stuff like meatloaf or salmon and leave it out on top of the stove for days, picking at it, until it was too dry to chew without fracturing his teeth. Never really had any issues with him, but it was weird AF. Not me, but my girlfriend's brother went through this. He lived in a quad with three other dudes. All met through Facebook before moving in. Everyone was pretty normal, until about a month in. The one guy would never leave his bed, and would only eat pizza. He would leave the empty pizza boxes in his bed, and either sleep with them on top of or under him. He never threw them out. The real nail in the coffin was when he apparently clogged the toilet. The plunger wasn't getting the job done, and after 15 minutes he panicked. He walked out of the bathroom, took a wire hanger out of his closet, fashioned it into a stick, and went back in. The toilet flushed. He came back out, fashioned the hanger back into a hanger shape, rinsed it off, and put his shirt back on the hanger into the closet. Edit. Any sensible person would throw the hanger out. Don't defend this shit. Roommate used to come home late and drunk often. He would raid the kitchen and eat all the food. Next day he would have no memory of eating it all. Presume it was me who had done it then get cross. I would be awoken by the sounds of things hitting my bedroom door. Bumps. Bunks. Splat CTC. It was him throwing the mess at my door. Would often wake up to food leftovers splattered all over the place. Baked bean. Yogurts. All sorts of random stuff. Before I moved in. He had also covered up vomit with his sofa instead of cleaning it up, which I later found out about. Lived with him a year before I escaped, he was a nasty vile man. I used to live with a guy who would watch a particularly disturbing serial killer movie on repeat, in the dark, while sitting about 12 inches from the TV screen. He would never look up, or say hi, when I would get home. Just sit there in pitch black watching women get murdered on repeat. I had a roommate way back in the day who worked for a power company. He wore these massive steel toe boots, makes sense. He would wear them all the time. Like, not just to and from work. Anytime we'd go out, he would wear them. Never sneakers, or a different pair of shoe of any kind. The same, beat up red wings. And the final kicker for me, is that the seemingly only place he took them off was actually in bed. Now the thing is, we had a house with hardwood stairs and floors. And he kept somewhat odd hours, and played D&D in the dining room every Monday night. So he'd clomp 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 all day and all night, whenever he was around. Monday nights were the worst, because all his friends would be over, they'd order a duck ton of takeout, and stay up till 2am. Actually no real problem with staying up, or the D&D or his friends they were all pretty nice, but he'd absolutely clomp clomp around, whenever he got up. These boots were the most insane things I have ever seen on someone's feet. One day, he wasn't home, and I needed to reset the modem connection, which was located in his bedroom. I gave him a call and asked, yeah no problem go ahead. So I walk in, and there are his boots. The room smells awful. It was like weird stale popcorn-y smell, mixed with something that you just couldn't place. His boots are sitting on his bed. I was both surprised and horrified that this was a thing. Quick reset, shut the door. Roommate comes home later, and I'm chilling in the living room. He clomp clomp clomps in, quick he says hey, and bolts upstairs. I notice he's wearing a different pair of boots and now I'm just so ducking curious, because these look just as shitty. A few days pass, and he goes out for the weekend. Yes he's got his boots on. I can't stand it anymore. I just have to know what's up with his boot situation. I have literally zero need and this isn't going to help me in life, but I gotta do it. So, I go in his room, I'm sorry dude, and I see his ducking boots. So okay, he's got two pairs of the same boots. Makes sense, you like what you like, and it's good to have a backup. The smell is horrific, but I peek around the room and notice the closet door is open, so I look closer. The ducker has four goddamn pairs of these red wings. Four. And they all look just as shitty. All the same color. Maybe not weird, but definitely strangely obsessive. No flip flops. No sneakers. No dress shoes. And the whole ducking closet smelled. I never asked. I never mentioned it to him. Just so ducking weird. 
woke up to sound of shouting on bullhorns and found cops in backyard telling me to get back inside. Went to front of house to figure out what was going on. As I opened the door cops rushed up and escorted me out to street. Turns out one roommate threatened another roommate with a gun and now that person was barricaded in his room with an army helmet on and bulletproof vest. There was seven others living there, some home, some not. Had to draw a diagram of all the rooms because cops couldn't risk going in right away as we didn't know who was all home or not. Roommates started to taunt cops by throwing lit strings of firecrackers at them. This all started at around 8pm. At 4am he started to throw large objects off of his balcony at cops, so they threw flashbangs and gas canisters at him on balcony. He managed to make it out of his bedroom, rush out the front door with gun showing, and took cops around blind corner from him rushed him, and took him down. Suffice to say I moved out the next month. Orma roommate of mine. He used to come back late from work, then proceeds to occupy the kitchen, takes out a bottle of vodka from the freezer, downs a couple of shots, then he puts on his running shoes, goes for jog for about an hour, comes back to down more shots in the kitchen. He also used to have this girlfriend who looked like a 25 year old retired librarian. The type of school teacher that seems to have been born in the wrong decade by accident. Really mousy and shy. She was even too shy to greet me when I ran into her in the apartment. But as soon as they closed the door to his room behind them, they had freakishly loud monkey sex. It sounded like two fully grown gorillas throwing themselves at each other. Full on now, ah, yeah. It was completely absurd. One time they were having a go at each other early Saturday morning, so my alarm clock was basically a woman's sex shrieks. One time I also found a rotting pineapple in the kitchen while cleaning. I don't know how or why. Duck. I lived with three of the worst girls I've ever met when I was in college. I signed a year long lease with them and lasted two months before I noped out and found some poor soul to take over my lease. They ignored me 98% of the time, except for when they ate my food in the fridge before going downtown, which they did every week Thursday Sunday, and when they locked themselves out, which happened Thursday to Sunday coming home from the bar. Also when they stood outside my door and loudly made fun of me or mocked my appearance. So I'm a pretty chill person, I would hang out with other friends and just come home to sleep. Then another friend accidentally let it slip to one of the girls that I'm allergic to avocado. Now, it's just when I eat it. I can be around avocado with no adverse effects. The next day I open the fridge and they've cut all their avocados in half and piled them on and around my food in the fridge. They didn't know that I only get sick when I eat avocado. So they just went and wasted time and money in the hopes of what? Poisoning me? Making me sick? Giving me an allergic reaction? Come on. It's pretty mild in terms of terrible roommate stories, but it was just the tip of the iceberg. I detest the word bitch, but I would use it to describe every one of those stupid girls. Oh man. Let's see. He got in a fight with a homeless lady and lost, drank his own piss, got arrested after trying to use an invisible shield to move traffic out of the way. He was on foot in the middle of the street and drank a smoothie which ingredients consisted of milk, his own blood, and his own semen. Dude lost his mind completely and I ended up having to get a restraining order against him 2018 was a hell of a year. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.